Gary. Wait, thank you for your service, Gary. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, let's get ready for the second part of the show. We're going to get right to it. We're going to get with our top story from Pioneering User, our focus. The question of gender and sex in science. Scientists should have sex and gender on the brain from viz.org. Excerpt. Writing in a special 150th anniversary edition of Nature, five experts say these factors are too often ignored. They say incorporating sex, the biological attribute distinguishable, distinguishing females, males, or intersex hermaphrodite individuals, and gender, psychological, social, and cultural factors affecting how an individual identifies in society, could improve experiments, reduce bias, and create opportunities for discovery and inter inv innovation. The article highlights a host of examples in which including a sex and gender has led to advanced understanding or insight from male and female shellfish responding differently to climate change, to gendered social robots, and to computer vision improvements prompted by, prompted by evidence that facial recognition systems misclassify the sex of darker skinned women more often than lighter skinned men. It's striking to see it's, it's striking to what degree sex and gender are overlooked in science, said co author Dr. Robert Ellis of the University of Exeter. We need to include this at every level of research and in everything we do or provide robot sci robust scientific justification as to why sex or gender are unimportant based on experimental evidence. So, I chose this story in part because, well, first off, I think it's interesting that, that the scientists are now coming to terms with this. As uh, This is something when you hear this. If you get trapped in the paradigm of the, uh, the cartoon version of the universe in which the SJW is, is going to uh, eat your babies, um, and uh, revel in, in the fact that they couldn't tell what sex they were because the sex of the baby was irrelevant. Like, what you could end up doing is cutting out of conversation, well, basically cutting conversations out of spaces where maybe these conversations need to happen. So the notion, for instance, if you're going to say, well, I think a consideration of the, in general, the whole sex gender question is, is, is really an interesting one. And, and uh, the ramifications of how our sex bias could actually lead us to conclusions which were more based in our sex bias, I think that warrants like consideration when we're talking about science and we're talking about data, if there are factors which could actually produce uh, <coughs> unintended uh, manipulation of data to produce inaccurate outcomes, this is bad for science. So, is that SJW? I don't think that. I don't think that needs a name SJW to it. I think it. It should be. I, I would hate to see the uh, certainly the, the social authoritarians co-opt this space. They'll be the ones that'll come in and tell the scientists what the new parameters are, but their parameters are going to be just as, as basically what they're going to end up doing is they're going to cut sex out of it. So they're, you're going to have to deny biology, which they're moving towards. There's, well, I won't get into that. I say that a lot cuts me off from having much longer conversations than I need to have right now. They'll unfold in time, I hope. So they say incorporating sex, the biological attribute distinguishes females. Okay, well, anyway. And gender could improve experiments, reduce bias, and create opportunities for discovery and innovation. I actually agree. So this is one of the reasons why even for me, when I was, when I was recognizing what SJWism was becoming, especially as it, it was really ticking me off uh, 
I also recognize that there are things that I would hate to see become stigmatized into this big stew of let's cut off all conversation and all considerations and so I never I don't I don't want to go down that path and so on one hand this is something that science absolutely should be doing on the other hand science better not uh, these scientists better not uh, let the 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 opportunist marketing hate marketers whether you know whether it's glad or whatever these 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 horrible profiteering groups let these groups come in and they define their very social authoritarian definitions of exactly how to interpret this new understanding that humans have about the universe around them.